G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Let's Draw series where I take the suggestions of the Twits chat and they vote on what I draw and the winning vote was a suggestion by Seb, which is Batman. Which is sort of fitting because I did the Joker a couple of weeks ago. And in my drawing of the Batman, I'm going to do things a little different to my normal Let's Draws. I'm going to do things uh, a little more concentrated and stylistic. Because I reckon Batman looks really cool, but I also reckon it's hard to get aesthetically right. I found that while doing some sketches of him that you really need to focus on the face shape and the jaw uh, and having the, the right sort of scowl. Uh, and I also th saw a lot of reference images and I found that the ones that looked too... I don't know, fleshy or unshaded and unstylistic look a bit silly because frankly, uh, why wouldn't a man in a bat costume look silly? So I'm gonna draw a bust of Batman with a really strong scowl and really strong stylistic shading with a comic book style, very harsh shading and I'm gonna do it all in grayscale. I start off with really light sketchy lines, roughing in the construction lines of the face shape. And as I'm ready to add the detail, I focus more on the face features itself, not going into the mask or the ears or any of the Batman details. I start off by drawing an angry face and then slowly add the mask and the facial Batman details around that. Slowly I refine the features with a harder edge with my pencil and then eventually it shapes up to the point where I'm ready to start adding line work. Now I'm going to add more details with shading and solid areas after I do my line work, but to start off with, I'm just going to do the basic outlines and shapes of the characters with a basic fine liner, and I'm using a Unipin 0.3 fine liner. So I've done a basic bare bones outline, line work version of my Batman. Obviously things are pretty simple at the moment, but now is when we start to add a bit of detail, add some shading and make things a bit more interesting. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding some shadows. And to do this, I'm gonna start outlining some solid shadow area with my pencil and I'm gonna fill it in with my pencil and then I'm going to eventually fill it in with solid black. So I'm sort of outlining the areas that are going to be hidden from any light touching it. And so I'm going to have two light sources, one sort of above and directly behind Batman and one directly behind and to the left. So I'm going to have most of the front of him covered in darkness. Once you've outlined the areas that are going to be completely covered in shadow, you can start to outline them with a fine liner and fill them in with a thick magic marker or sharpie or permanent marker or something thick and black that just fills it in. We want to make sure that we have a solid contrast but we also don't want to lose detail and uh, show indication of where geometry overlaps. So what I like to do is maintain very thin white lines between certain areas just to show that there is a difference between skin and mask or jaw and neck. Okay, so I've got the shadows on the face to a place where I'm pretty happy with them. I went through first with a thinner Sharpie and sort of refined the edges and thickened the outlines a bit so that when I jumped to this Sharpie, it didn't mess everything up because I couldn't maintain the detail. So that was the focus there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, sort of accentuate the shading a little bit. Going back to my 0.3 fine liner, I'm going to do some cross hatching and line shading. So for example, on the forehead here, the, uh, the shadow ends in a pretty solid line. I'm actually gonna use some line shading to push it kind of forward like this. And then as it closes in this area, just adding in these lines. And this essentially adds a partial gradient to the shading effect. This next bit is time consuming, but what you can do to accentuate this line shading style is add a slight thickness to the base of the curve before it goes into a thin line and do this from the solid shadow areas. You have to be very careful to maintain the thickness uh, consistently along that line of line shadows but when finished it can help soften that effect and accentuate the stylistic aspect of your line shading and then in areas where shadow is even darker I add extra lines in the opposite direction which is a technique called cross hatching so I've finished the shading and the line areas and the full shadow areas and I've also erased my line work and what I'm left with is a pretty clean looking image ready for color. Now I could leave it as it is because it is quite cool having just the silhouette and the thick shadow like that but I'm going to play with some grayscale Copic markers using C2, C4 and C6 cool gray and hopefully it'll add a bit more body to the piece and make things feel a little more solid uh, and rounded as well. These videos are sponsored by Copic Australia so if you're interested, make sure to click the link on the screen and in the description to check out other Copic products. Copic markers are alcohol-based markers. They're really good value, so definitely check them out.
and this is the outcome I've ended up with. I added some saturation to the mouth area with some skin tones, uh, and unfortunately I think I messed up the shading on the bottom lip a little bit, but there's not much I can do about it in hindsight. I've done the best that I can, and I hope you enjoy the result. So as always, I dedicate the piece to whoever requested it in the Twitch chat, and this one is dedicated to Seb. Sign and we're done. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for everyone who joined the Twitch chat. And if you want to join future streams, make sure to check out the link on the screen and in the description. I actually had a lot of trouble getting the sketches to look like something I was happy with. So in the end, this is better than I expected. So thanks for joining, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later.